वेलकम टू माई न्यू वीडियो नाउ टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द गॉस साइडर मैथड गॉस सीडर मैथड दिस इज ऑल्सो फॉर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन एंड इट इज कॉल्ड इन डायरेक्ट मैथड सो बिफोर वी रीड सम डायरेक्ट मैथड नाउ वी गो फॉर द टू इन डायरेक्ट मैथड इन माई प्रीवियस मैथड वी लर्न Another now the that one Jacobi irritation method now Gauss Seidel method in Gauss Seidel method it's little bit similar to Jacobi iteration but there is a different so what is the different I will show you with the help of one example solve up to three iteration we have the system of equation this is the same example which I take in the previous so you will uh, see what is the difference between the both method. So step one is the same. There is given three set of equation, maybe four set of equation and four unknown. The method is the same. So initial value given there x one, x zero y zero z zero equal to zero zero zero. So we start the solution. Step one for Gauss Seidel method and the Jacobi method is the same. Rewrite the given equation one by one in the form of x y and z so i use my first equation rewrite it in the form of x my second equation rewrite in the form of y my third equation rewrite in the form of z that is not necessary we have to take same order any one equation give the in rewrite in the form of x other one is in y third one is in the z next we start the iteration with the help of the initial given value so what are the initial given value x0 y0 and z0 is equal to 0 0 0 for first iteration using the initial value my x1 is coming by 10 y0 minus z0 by 5 this is the same step in jacobi method also so we substitute y0 and z0 is equal to 0 0 and then value becomes 2 clear now the method is start gauss seidel method this is the difference when we calculate the y1 now we have the value x1 is 2 so for y1 our iteration equation becomes 11 minus 2x1 plus z0 at the place of x0 in jacobi method we don't take x0 here because now just in previously we will calculate x1 so we substitute this x1 here so 11 minus 2x1 plus z0 by 8 substitute the value and calculate next we have to find z1 before z1 we already calculate x1 and y1 so here the difference we have to calculate z1 with the help of the substituting initial value x1 and y1 so our equation becomes 3 plus x1 minus y1 by 4 when we solve it it will give z1 equal to 1.03125 that is the my first iteration value x1 y1 z1 is given by x1 is 2 y1 followed by 0.875 and z1 is 1.03125 now with same manner we go for the second iteration and the third iteration so we go for the second iteration followed by the same process so our x2 is calculated with 10 plus y1 minus z1 by 5 i substitute the values here and my new x2 becomes 1.96875 this value we use to calculate y2 so y2 is 11 minus 2x2 plus z1 we, we don't calculate z2 so z1 by 8 so this 11 minus 2 times my x2 coming here plus z1 by 8 my new value of y2 is coming here now x2 and y2 both are there for z2 we use x2 and y2 to calculate the z2 so substitute here 3 plus x2 minus y2 by 4 i substitute my new z2 coming here 0.989257812 with the same manner followed 
in iteration 3 for iteration 3 x3 is 10 plus y2 minus z2 when x3 is coming for y3 11 minus 2x3 plus z2 so my x3 is this then y3 is this when x3 and y3 both values are come then both values we use for the new iteration for z3 they are these are the three iteration when we see the this iteration convergence to the values x equal to 2 y equal to 1 and z equal to 1 hence we can conclude that these iteration convergence to x equal to 2 y equal to 1 and z equal to 1 so the solution of the given system of linear equation is this that's all for the gauss seidel method very simple just go by step by step and should concern about your calculation that's all for this method thank you very much